Hey y'all, so this video is going to be all about the Time Ghost assets that just went live on the Asset Store. Uh, if you haven't seen the video yet, I'll post the link in the description. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so this is the newest tech demo from Unity uh, and really shows a lot of the coolest stuff about Unity 6, the high definition render pipeline, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and come over to the Asset Store here where I've searched for Time Ghost. And it has Time Ghost environment and Time Ghost character. So I'm going to open up Unity 6 right now, and we'll get these into the scene. All right, so we have Unity 6 open. Let's go ahead and grab our two packages. So I'm going to open up the environment. Add to my assets right here. It is a free asset. Great. So now I can hit open in Unity, open Unity Editor, and it will pull this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit download inside of the package manager. Now that it has installed, I want to click on the import 1.1 to project. We're going to let this import. And if you get any prompts in here, uh, go ahead and hit OK to that. I believe I just got one that I hit OK to uh, that said it needed to overwrite the project in order to import the entire project in. So that's what we're going to do. And here I have some warnings. I'm just going to hit install or upgrade. It is likely worth noting that I am in a clean project in Unity 6. I would not recommend importing this into an existing project that you are using. Alrighty, and now we have our import Unity package panel has pulled up. I'm just going to leave all of that highlighted, hit next. And I'm just going to leave everything as it is by default and hit import. So all in all, uh, between all the cuts and whatnot, I would say that import took about seven minutes to get everything in and the project open. So let's dive in. First thing that I always do whenever I open up a large package or project is just come over here into the scenes list and see what scenes have been made. So we have start journey, environment, lighting, scatter. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in here. And let's see what we want to open up first. I'm just going to double click on loader and hit play and see what this is. And it is apparently not what I want. So let's do start journey. All right, I think I may have finally stumbled upon how to work with this. And that is that there's a time ghost menu item up here at the top. I'm gonna hit load demo scenes inside of the loader scene that I'm in. And let's see what we get. Better, much better. All right, so once we have that, I'm gonna hit play and we'll see what we get on the other side. Okay, started out a little bit laggy, but it seems like things are kind of buffering out. Nice. Okay, so while this is playing, I can also now go into different camera modes as indicated in the top left here. So let's say I want to do player controller. I can hit F3 and actually walk around this environment. Okay, that's pretty damn cool. So that is awesome. You can also get in here and do free camera with F2 where I can just kind of fly around. Let's maybe get over here towards the mountains a little bit. And this is super fun. I mean, environment art is my favorite discipline within real time 3d gaming and whatnot. So this is super cool to me. Nice. I'm also curious if I do scenario blend, what happens? Ooh, okay. So that's blending scenarios between the adaptive probe volumes. So that's pre-baked lighting where you're able to go between them. That's what's happening. How cool. 
Okay. So if you want to learn how to do that, I have an adaptive probe volume tutorial specifically on scenario blending. Um, but that's exactly what we're looking at is using APVs. Wow. Awesome. Okay. So we have the environment in, we're now able to browse and look around and see all there is to be seen. And if you get into the scene, I'm sure there's a lot that you can get in and start to uh, poke around, look at, understand exactly how it's being done. These are sample scenes, so they're not really meant to be used as something like a template. They're more so meant to be examined and studied and understood. Um, so like dots and ECS is being leveraged in here. The terrain system that's being used uh, is all pretty cool stuff. So there's just a lot of goodness to kind of get in here and dig around. So you can see I clicked on the terrain. Now I have uh, have options to start to look at how the team built it. And we can really get in and start to pick things apart. It's like this mountain range back here. If I want to just understand more about that, how it was built, if it has LODs on it, etc. So we have our environment in. I'm happy with that for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our character. So to do that, I'm going to come back out into the asset manager or rather into unity asset store. And I'm going to back up and grab the time ghost character and hit open in unity and then open unity editor. So now you can see time ghost character here. Okay. So now I have an import 1.12 project. Okay, so it does prompt me to load this into its own project. So let me pull this in, see what it looks like. If it's as complex as the, the scene hierarchy is in this project, I'll probably keep them separated out. All right, so the character project has now opened. So I'm going to exit out of the HDRP wizard, and let's check out our scenes in here. So we have Sentus Deformer. Interesting. So Sentus, for those of you that don't know, is basically the locally ran neural network that trained the cloth deformation for the character. Uh, if you want to check out a lot more about how that was done, uh, I will also post the description or post the link to that in the description below. Uh, they have a really great like one hour video on that. Okay, so we appear to be loaded in. That's pretty awesome. Wow, this character looks really good. Holy crap. I'm extraordinarily impressed. Okay, so let's just look at a couple things here. Interesting. So a lot of stuff you can start to dig into. Goodness. So here's the hair system that got everybody excited and talking. Wow. So all of these are just like the little fuzzes on the face. This is the hair that had interactivity. So let's see if I uh, create something here. Will it have? Oh my gosh. So everybody here remembers the hand going through the hair. Wow. So this is all running in real time in the scene. That looks super good. So it looks like within the hair system, there's a bunch of stuff to start to pick apart. So there's simulation state over here. I'm guessing within the hair groom, there's going to be more stuff to look at. So there's a lot that you can get in and start to check out. This is a very cool scene, though. Goodness. Wanting to start look at materials or textures and how they accomplish this. There's a bunch here. So a lot of really cool stuff to pick apart. Let's see if I hit play. What happens exactly? Nice. 
Nice. And we just have a nice subtle uh, animation here. Oh, there it is. There it is. So we can do a pose animation if we hit A. There we go. We can walk if we hit S. Oh my goodness. No. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is super cool. I'm going to spend literal hours in here, I'm sure, just looking at how they've pulled a lot of this off. So hopefully this has been helpful. We took a look at Time Ghost, what it is, where to get the packages from on the Unity Asset Store, how to pull them into a scene in Unity 6, get it all running really quick. So hopefully this was helpful. So just as a data point, my system has a 3080 Ti in it, and the processor is a 12th gen i9, uh, 12900K, something like that. Um, 32 or 64 gigs of RAM, something in that ballpark. So it's a kind of beefy gaming rig, but it's not state of the art as if it came out this year. Um, so I'd be really interested to see how much better this could even run on something like a 4090. So I'm going to leave us here. I think this is perfect and exactly what I was hoping to get out of this. And I hope that you all have enjoyed this quick demo and explanation so that you can get this pulled down and start testing on your own machines. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.